All right, so as you see, Mason's actually helping me put together some Girl Scout cookies. So we are doing a cookie, cookie boot sale tomorrow, so I'm actually stocking stuff up so they look nice and neat. So he's helping me take the extra ones out right now. Bella's helping me too. She's just in the other room, but I have such good kids, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, my helper. to sneak and chit chat with you guys. So it's been like a crazy, crazy weekend. It's like so much going on, I'm exhausted. I actually just got up from taking a nap. I actually fell asleep on the couch because I've been so, so tired. So yesterday I got my hair done. So that's what it looks like. And then of course I forgot my camera. So then I love my hairdresser, she's amazing. She always does like a really good job on my hair. Um, so yeah, just my hair got done yesterday. I kind of had like a mommy morning because um, Paul was home from work. Riley was Riley and Bella were both off for school, so did that. And then I got my nails done. So you can see. Maybe I gotta go like this. There we go. I'm not too happy with them. You see how they already look like they need to be filled. So long story short. For those of you who know, I actually do my own acrylics. So, um, actually before I started doing my own acrylics, I literally got my nails done from high school for like 10 years. Every single two weeks I got my nails done and I always did French tip because I'm like, oh, French tip matches everything. Well, then I got sick of French tip and it was like, I don't know, it was like 2010 and I was like, you know what? I'm like, I just bought a new car and I'm like, you know what? I'm just so sick of going to the, to the nail salon every two weeks. So I decided to buy the powder and buy the liquid and just do it myself because I just wanted solid colors. And so for 13 years, I've been doing my own nails. So I want to say around Christmas time, I'm like, oh, I'm like, and side note too, I always, always did my own hair. So I started getting my hair done last July. And before that, I was doing my own hair for like three, four years. And no highlight. Well, I would put like some highlights in there, but mostly I would just, you know, keep it a solid color, just tone it all the time. And then that was it. So I was just like tired of like doing everything for everybody and not doing anything for myself. So I'm like, you know, I tell Paul I want to get my hair done. And he's like, yeah, go ahead. You know, let's, you know, do something for yourself. So around Christmas time, I'm like, you know what? All of a sudden, I'm like, I'm really tired of doing my own nails. And I don't think it's like doing the acrylic part, it's like painting them and like waiting for them to dry and just takes forever. So he's like, well, how much is it to go get your nails done? So I'm like, well, I'm, I'm assuming it's a little bit more money, obviously, now than when I've got them done. But I know the last time I saw it, it was like $30 to get a full set. And I think the last time, that's what I paid. And then I want to say, um, when I saw it, it was like 35 plus 10. He's like, oh, that's not bad. And I said, for fill-ins, it used to be like 20 bucks. And I'm pretty sure it's like 25. He's like, that's not bad. 50 bucks a month because every two weeks. So I'm like, okay. So I actually went yesterday after I got my hair done and the girl did my nails and i was just like they were okay and i'm like i'm not a complainer i can't complain and so i had a bubble in one of my nails and it was black and i was like for having pink nails with like a dark black bubble i'm like i need it to be fixed because if it was white it would blend in or whatever so i asked her how much it is and i told them i just wanted acrylics and painted nothing special and it was 50 bucks and i'm like 50 bucks i'm like that's not what it says on the board it says 50 and then I find out they end up doing no chip. I've never had no chip before. I liked it, but I'm just like, oh, I'm not, I would rather just have plain nail polish and then just have them dry with the fan and then um, just not, you know, spend the extra $15 to save to do my nails every couple weeks. But she's like, oh, it lasts like, you know, about three weeks. And I'm looking and I'm like, how is this? gonna last for three weeks when it already looks like it's been two weeks and I already have it outgrown. And then I came home and I asked for coffin nails and they didn't look cough and they just looked really, really long, which I actually like the fact that I did get the long nails and I had to file it myself. 
So I told Paul, I'm like, I'm like, I really, really, really like now I'm getting my nails done, but I really don't want to spend that much money. So of course, what was I doing? I looked on Amazon and I found the no chip UV set and everything to like paint my nails and everything with like 60 colors for me, like 40 blocks with the, I'm like sold, I'm buying that. So, and then I saw like for, I want to say like 20 more blocks. I want to say like it was a set of 42, just like all glittery nail polishes. I'm like getting that too. So then I have like glittery off. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go back to doing my own nails. So I told them like maybe every four months I'll just get a brand new set from them and then um, just fill it in every single whenever I need to. So that was yesterday. So and then the reason why I took a nap was I'm so tired. Our girls decided to stay up till four in the morning and I was like I could not sleep. Every hour I kept telling them go to bed, go to bed. They were screaming and everything. It was just crazy because this morning the girls had dance. But not only do we have dance, we actually at our dance studio um, decided to sell cookies for a few hours. So you guys saw Mason was helping me put all the cookies together. And I should have showed you guys what all the boxes looked like, but what our, or what our table looked like. But it was super, super cute. Um, and we just sold cookies for three hours. And then we came home and then we just were relaxing and we were watching Disney movies and you saw the kids were in Barkley's bed for some reason they like to hang out. Barkley was sleeping on me and we just relaxed. The girls are actually right now playing video games. Paul's playing video games and the little ones and I are just hanging out upstairs they're playing. So I just wanted to quickly sneak away and say like, hey, what's been going on? Cause I'm like, didn't have my camera at all. And I was just, I was so tired. And I'm like, sometimes you just need a rest and take a nap. So I was just listening to my body and taking a nap. So. We're trying to figure out what to do tonight. Last night we actually ordered food and we ended up getting a second pizza for free because they didn't pie cut and we wanted a pie cut. So they just actually sent us another pizza because they forgot our chicken strips and fries for the kids. So we have so much food. So I said, the girls, you guys are on your own for food. Eat whatever you want in the fridge as long as it's a leftover. You could hear Bella and Mason going a little crazy right now. So. But yeah, that's it. So I think we're gonna play a game tonight with the older girls when the little ones go to bed. All right, so this is what all of the cookies look like. I'll have to show you guys in a couple weeks when we do another boot sale. But um, I still have another case of Thin Mints, but I was actually surprised. That was not our hot seller today, but nobody wanted any Toffee Tastics, and we got one of those gone. And then we sold a couple um, s'mores. And Samoas, then actually nobody really wanted either. Like normally Thin Mints and Samoas are the ones that are really a hot seller. Um, but I actually do have a couple more of those. This one was a hot seller, the Aventrafull. So I actually, um, I bought another case and we already had almost a case and I actually just filled this one up. So that's all we have left. And then the Tagalogs, that's all we have left. I didn't get any more lemons because I feel like a lot of people don't like the lemons, but we actually did sell so some towards the end and then do -si dos and I figured if we don't sell the rest of these do -si dos that Paul's gonna end up buying them because he already wanted to buy another case but this is everything left over from our cookie sale done doing a Girl Scout field trip to this nature park and we learned how to make makeable syrup and just beautiful outside day. It's in the 50s. Oh my goodness. Did you have fun, Bella? I have to, I'm like trying not to get the sun. No. <gasps> ah, yeah. yeah, you did. You had fun with mom. Yes, how excited was to eat the pancakes? Good. What? Fun. What? A snake. A snake. I know we touched the snake. That was so cool. All right, so we are actually, I'm like trying to get out of this like, like sun glarious. We're actually going to head home and see what everybody is up to because it's family fun day. So daddy is, um. He's doing something with his sisters. I said daddy's 
do play and Mason. Video we always forget games. about Mason. Oh, he might be playing video games with his sisters. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go.